Here we go then, Chelsea in the first leg of the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. I think we're going to get absolutely annihilated, but let's see what happens. Roll the intro. No, I won't stop. Hello and welcome back to the Football Manager Save Hometown Hero where we're trying to take folks in a victor to Champions League glory and we've got them to the Premier League so far and this season we're in the semi-finals of the League Cup playing Chelsea. Um, Chelsea are very good if you're new to the save. They have Kylian Mbappe and uh, Mr Silva up front, Fabio Silva. They've they've been splashing their cash. Yeah, they're really good. Um, put it this way, right? Their strikers are Mbappe, Silva, and then their backup striker, if we look at their squad because of my, my match report, um, they have Pietro Pellegri as one of their backup strikers. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, they also have this guy, Shahandon Joseph, who will probably start in the, in the League Cup for them. He's ridiculous, and he's not their first choice striker. 16 games he's played this year, um, 13 in the league. Two in the cup. It's just he's just ridiculous, and he's only scored three goals. So expect him to bang in a hat trick against us today. They're a very very good team. Goalkeeper Patrick Darm, a rare thing of a wonder kid goalkeeper. Um, I'd bid for him. Um, I didn't go as high as his fifteen million p fifteen million pounds that they paid. I paid. I think I offered eleven. They said no. Chelsea came in with fifteen. I didn't realise that was his release fee. I hadn't scouted him enough. I had scouted him enough to see basically handling kicking one on one's command of area and the fact he was a wonder kid, but I didn't know he had a minimum fee release clause. But he probably would have picked Chelsea anyway, so not much we can do there. We have been sort of doing okay, I guess. Uh, 1 1 against Leeds, 1 1 against Forest in the quarterfinals where we won on penalties is uh, what we did last episode. We then beat Arsenal 1 0, which was very nice. Claudio Roberto getting a goal, the young Brazilian striker that we have, who um, is progressing nicely. Uh, we drew 0-0 with Everton. We drew 1-1 with Southampton. Uh, an OG from Larea and then a Javier Chia header put us uh, at 1-1. We then drew 0-0 with Chelsea, which was a good result at home. Um, we did well in that one. And then we played Man City and lost 2-1. Bobby Wilkinson getting sent off in the 85th minute, allowing Kenner to score in the 89th. They just absolutely bombarded us with that. And uh, today, we line up for the semi-final using... A 4 one 2, two one, where we're going to play cautiously. We've stripped back a lot of the um, instructions for the team to try and make it a little bit more simple. But uh, we'll have to see how we're going to get on. We're going to take Bola off the bench. He is hopefully on his way out. There is no um, update in terms of transfers and histories. If we go in here, um, we have a couple of offers for Radic, the centre holding midfielder who is actually uh, injured at the moment. We've bought in Osmane, uh, Ridvan Osmane. Osmani, Osmani, Os Osmani, Osmani, I think I'll go with. Very, very good. Wonder Kid, £20 million from Palmer, already worth 23.5. So hoping he settles in uh, well enough. Uh, on the outs, just um, nothing. Nothing happening in January at the moment. Only the 8th of January, though, so we'll see where we get. But let's, without further delay, get into the game against Chelsea in the League Cup. Away from home, starting cautious. Don't get battered is the the mentality that we're taking into this game. In the whole of the team, we have one person on an attacking mentality, and that is Sigalani as the inside forward. But we may highly likely be changing that as the game unfolds. As you can see, yeah, I predicted they'd start Joseph up front. He does start up front. They've got a very good team. Uh, Tomori at the back is a very good centre-back, 33 years old now. Reese James, um, 31 years old at right-back. They have uh, Silva, who we've already looked at at left wing. They have Rodrigo from Real Madrid at right wing. Elite winger. Um, just, just just, a casual 114 million they dropped on Rodrigo. They have Vasharin in midfield. Um, yep, worth 70 million pounds. They bought him for 87 million pounds. So they've spent a lot of money compared to us. Uh, we've got our 20 million pound wonder kid up front. So, yes. Uh, other news... Um, Berger at the back, who doesn't play today, he's actually playing in a holding midfield, is... Oh, do I just go nothing to lose? We've got nothing to lose. Let's show everyone what we're capable of. And then calmly, I have faith, I have faith, I have faith. Um, yes, he now has... Which, oh, well, we'll have to get into the game, I think. 
Sugliani takes the captain's on man. I can rely on him to set the tone. Patrick Cotton comes into this match having produced some impressive midfield displays in recent weeks. Do you have a plan to stop him? Um, we're going to have to play him. Oh, I pressed the wrong. I was meant to press that. I ended up pressing that. How useful is Jordan Pickering's versatility? He makes us stronger. How much of a boost is Kylian Mbappe's absence? Um, makes it a bit easier. They're a good team with plenty of players. So it's still likely to be a very tough fixture. Right, just before the game gets properly underway. Berger, um, £29 million. He has Liverpool, Dortmund, Munich, Inter, Barcelona and Real Madrid interested in him. Now, we obviously paid a lot of money for him from PSG, but I spotted his potential, very happy to pay that. And if they want him, they've got to pay us £86 million because that's his release fee for a Champions League team. So I'm happy he signed the new contract when he did and we upped that from £50 million to £86, which makes it very, very helpful for us. But you should see us now keeping the ball a little bit more in centre midfield. There won't be an urgency to push forward as much and open ourselves up. We're going to try and dominate possession and just basically stifle Chelsea, although they've already had two shots, in, four shots inside 10 minutes and we have had... Uh, none. So that's that's good fun. Oh my god, this could be a pummeling if they if they start putting chances away. This could be an absolute pummeling. And I'm wondering now. I left a comment with someone who was like, you know, they they look forward to seeing me bounce back and do well. I think what I need to remember is that we are folks and uh, League Cup semi-finals is overachieving as Reese James fires wide. Um, it is massively overachieving. I think what we need to do as well is, I think we did this before. If I go into uh, player instructions and we'll go for these, yeah, cheer, edit, uh, mark specific player, defender left, mark specific player, defender right, and let's see if we can just stifle them a little bit coming forward. Um, I do have to remember that we are Folkestone and like League Cup semi-finals is a massive overachievement. Challenging for Europe is a massive overachievement at this stage. We're still, the board still just wants us to fight against relegation. Our reputation is lower, for example, in the League Cup quarterfinals, our reputation is lower than Nottingham Forest. So who are in the championship and we came into that game as underdogs, which is not like us. They've gone 1-0 up, we need to change something because... Now this is my problem, is that we don't, we're not creating anything at the moment with this. I still think this is okay, out of possession. Um, in transition, I think we'll still go quickly. I'm just wondering here, let's go short on much, we'll go, let's try and push them back, I think. Um, whip the crosses in, we'll play for set pieces as well. We'll go back to a little bit more of what we know, but I do, we do, I mean, just look at the, the the difference in money spent between Chelsea and us and you know we've got to a semi-final a semi-final of a competition where the other teams that are in it are Chelsea, Arsenal and Man City so yeah the chances of us winning this are quite slim anyway but uh, Reese James comes forward with a good tackle from Siglani, Vashani picks it up, Rodrigo with a header over the bar I mean this is my problem I need to sort out what do we do against big teams now the thing with the, the three at the back, we've gone back to it and I've avoided it again. It does create goal scoring opportunities for us, but I think against the big teams, like we've talked about before, it just completely opens us up. Not that we're doing much today anyway. We're being pretty much pummeled uh, right now. I mean, 11 shots to none. We'll probably go to the 4 2 3 1 for the second half, as that's a great ball. Joseph in behind, round the goalkeeper, sticks it in. Unbelievable. The, to think he's their possible third choice striker is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, does he even play for England? Yeah, he is in the England setup. 12 goals in 15 games for England. Surely he's in that. Yeah, up, up top with Mason Greenwood. That is not a bad strike force to have, to be honest. But yeah, 2 0 uh, to Chelsea. I think we'll go to the 4 2 3 1 for the second half and at least try and make a game of it. I know there's a second leg, but I don't think we're really going to have enough about us to create a difference. As See, now this is the thing. They're not tracking. That's a poor pass. But they're not tracking our overlapping fullbacks when they move up. So, Medina. Which will open up. I understand will open us up to the counter-attack. But if they're not tracking them and we can use um, the width. Signal like this. Into Ludwig. Ludwig into the box. Gets around his man. Cuts it back. Osmane shoots. And Wonderkid shoots. Wonderkid saves. But, uh, well, that's the most positive thing we've seen for us in the first ten minutes. So... 
Yeah, I'm wondering, 4-2-3-1 overlapping, try and force them back a little bit. We'll uh, get Ludwig to ease off tackles. But uh, Mariba goes down the line to Joseph Medina with a good tackle. Sigliano keeps it in. Mariba picks it up again into James. James to Ruben. Ruben to Tamori. And uh, they are making that across. Now, the marking is actually cutting out them giving it to their fullbacks, which is useful. But it's not really helping us out. I'm wondering as well, do we do... Let's just really go proper man marking here. And get those two on it as well to try and just completely nullify the wings. It is where Chelsea's uh, coming involved as Revan was casually walking with the ball towards his own goal. But half time, um, you're terrible. Improve it because we haven't. We have one shot, which isn't isn't good for us. Four two, uh, three one. Then is what we're going to go for. Uh, Berger was lacking match fitness, so I'll probably take him off anyway. Sigliano on a 6.3 is absolutely dreadful. Um, are you still... Right, edit. Mark specific position. Oh, have they changed? No, they haven't. Uh, attacking midfield right. Man mark. Specific player, Fabio Silva. Edit. Man mark. Because I still want them to be, you know, to be forced backwards. And to be honest, that's why Sigalani might not be having the best of games because we're forcing him to do too much defensive work. But I'm hoping this will allow us to at least get on the front foot a little bit. So uh, Cheers not having a good game. Both our wingers are not getting involved. Pickering's having a poor game at the back as well. Let's go. Well, actually, Berger can sit in there for Revan. And then we'll do Revan off and we'll bring on uh, Diallo in there he is slightly better than Vincent and we'll go for that just the one sub and then straight into the second half we'll demand more from them just to reinforce the message uh, that we gave at half time to say that it's not been good enough for uh, Sharon out to Cotton and Cotton wow that was a dangerous little start he pushed up quite high from central midfield didn't he let's go to uh to balance just as we've gone oh Joseph over the bar we've gone for a more attacking formation so we don't need to be as attacking in terms of mentality but again it's just a repeat of the second half as Sharon in headed away Joseph picks it up robbed by Sigalani though let's go let's go can we break Sigalani forced backwards to Ludwig Ludwig into Medina Medina back to Gunnarsson and well we've kept the ball which is okay up it goes towards Osmani wins the header but Cotton's there and we can't really get any support into Osmani Reese James comes forward with it He's surrounded by players. Moriba Cotton picking up so much space in the middle of the park. Shoots blocked up by Wilkinson. And it's just a repeat of the first half, really. Not too much we can do. Porter tackled well by Chia. Puts the ball in Joseph. Knocks it down. Fabio Silva is fouled. It will be a penalty. Oh, if they score this, I'm going three at the back. Moriba. Gunnarsson gets a hand to it but can't keep it out. Three at the back, positive. Um, Berger can drop down here. We'll sort you two over. Chia can probably... 6.2, absolutely dreadful. Um, yeah, Vincent can come on there. We'll actually switch you two over. We'll put Osmani. Sigalani can come off as well. And we'll put on Adam Ida up front. Uh, you'll probably be now a bit more suited to a deep line forward like that. And uh, let's see if this at least creates us some opportunities because it's been absolutely one-sided, 3-0 I'm amazed we drew Chelsea 0-0 in the first in, in, the, in the league to be honest they, they're so much better than us so all subs made we've gone to the three at the back formation Reese James into Mariba back to Reese James who sort of gets past his man, Mariba to Vasharan, Vasharan to Cotton into Fabio Silva, back to Cotton out to Porter Porter cuts inside. Porter shoots past the post. 21 shots to one. This is absolutely dreadful. Vashardin shot into the wall. Reese James will uh, have a lot of time to pick his pass here, but doesn't do anything with it. Another free kick. Maliba has as it goes this time. And now we could break here. Vincent, fresh legs, comes on. He's still going, Vincent. He's fouled. Get him, Rodrigo. Off. That's, no, he's, get him off. Get him off. How is that only a yellow card? He's absolutely butchered me from the back. Get him off. I mean, it's a tall ask going into the uh, 
going into the second leg, being potentially 3-0 down or more. I just scored! Yes! Oh, he's offside. Oh, I thought we were going to have a little bit of joy then. Just a little bit of joy. Vincent. Oh, it's bloody so tight. VAR. Where's VAR? Where's the foot? Get the lines detailed on the screen. I want to see armpits and fingernails. Are you joking? Uh, handball. Get him off. Send him off. Deliberate handball. Putting it into the net. Send him off. Send him off. Referee. Berger. Medina. Oh, his space out wide for Ludwig. He's kept his width. Ludwig comes forward with it. Looks to beat his man. Lays it back to Vincent. Vincent all the way out to Pickering. Pickering into the box. He's not had a very good game. Cross in. He said, Osmani! The wonder kid gets his first goal of the season. 3-1. And we've definitely improved since going to three at the back. So maybe it's come making maybe it's making a comeback in the pissing rain here in London. Pickering put a lovely cross in. Ida, did he win the header and knock it back? No, Reese James got it away, but Osmani left footed volley. That's a great goal for your first at the club. Let's try that again. Get creative. They can't handle the three at the back, boys. Three at the back for the second leg, I reckon. Mount in. Header over the bar. Diaz goes close. Um, Moriba is making things happen. Most of their team, to be honest, are making things happen. So, uh, another corner. 27 shots Chelsea have had. 28 shots. Joseph heads it just over the bar, skimming the top of the bar. 15 minutes to go. And we've given ourselves a little bit of a lifeline with that goal. Reese James, a shout in to Moriba. Mariba to James. James back to Mariba. In. Thomas is free at the back post. He fires it in, but he's offside. Get that flag up, linesman. I should probably buy myself a little prop of a linesman's flag because I, I do that so often. Let's, uh, we'll go get creative again, I think. Mariba all the way out to Porter on the left. Into Mount. Mason Mount into Thomas. I just had a goal disallowed. I just had a goal saved by Gunnars. And Chelsea going to probably break, break the 30-point mark uh, in this save. Still no updates there. Let's get creative as they head that ball over the bar. That'll be 30 shots, 12 on target. Gunnarsson having a 6.6, 6.7, although he's technically saved 12 shots. Unbelievable. The only standout performer for us today, Osmani. Um, Osmani, Osmani. But uh, a minute, four added minutes into injury time, and 3-1 has given us a chance. Reese James to Rodrigo. Back to Reese James. Into the box he goes. Crosses in. Pickering heads it away. Mason Mount will keep it alive. Porter. Porter looks to go to Thomas. Thomas cross blocked. Porter's there again. Into Thomas. Ball across. Ludwig with a header. Vashayan into Reese James. Reese James comes forward with it. Into Vashayan. Back to Reese James again. Vashayan. We're forcing them back. Just blow the whistle, ref. Just blow the whistle. That'll be full time there. As, uh, there it is. 3-1, we've given ourselves a glimmer of hope. I do appreciate the efforts because we played much better in the second half, actually having some shots on goal. Next up, Newcastle United, who are in 18th position. A game we really should should be winning. Um, but yeah, we'll find out. We'll be back for that game in just a moment. Here we are then, back for the game against Newcastle. 9th v 18th, so it should be... A win for us, but you never know. We're um, not going three at the back. We're going for the four-two-three-one. I've changed a few things around, um, but yes, we're going to say I'm actually going to take work ball off, work ball into the box off because I don't want it on at the moment. And I'm so tempted by being more expressive. We're not going to overlap left though because we've still got the inside forward on that side. Um, and oh, let's just get into it. Um, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to start able. I'm going to start Abel, and Cheer's not going on the bench because he's been pretty poor recently. Abel has been, in training, has been performing magnificently well. So I think he's worth a go uh, to start on uh, the right wing, as a right winger. He says he wants to be an inside forward, but we're going to put him on as a winger for now. We may mix it up and put him on as an inside forward. So let's... Shall I just put inside forward straight away? Would that make sense? It would then also change how I use the attacking midfielder. Yeah, all right then. Uh, attack and fielder on support, which I think suits Vincent better. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, so now let's go overlap on the right as well. I'm, I'm going to take pass off into space into space off because we don't need to do that anymore. Just just doing it on the fly. Just doing it on the fly. Right, Abel Sigalani, you're our key men. Come on. 
Come on. Let's see. Newcastle lining up in a 4 2 3 1 as well. Complete uh, new gin faces. Something you like to see. We're getting there. Sigalani, Ida, and Gunnarsson are our only uh, full on picture faces that we've got in this 11. Um, we are away. We need to end our, four, our, our poor run of form. Let's raise our game to their level. One, three of their. If we perform our best, we can deny them. I love denying teams' uh, winning streaks. Now, I'm sure my team don't like the fact that we are switching from formation to formation um, quite commonly in games. But we are doing. And this is this is what I swear in the comments. This is what I need people to say, Dave. You're still folks than a victor, and you've only been in the Premier League. This is your second season in the Premier League. You you don't have to push for everything so quickly. But, yeah, that's what I like to do. Pereira picks board. They are not leaving men forward at all. Berger. Although they're playing a positive 4-2-3-1. I'm amazed they've got a go-go looking a little bit deeper in here. Yeah, look how deep they're dropping. Abel. Into Ida. Ida shoots. Oh, past the post. So unlucky. Um... Aquilson. That's our old guy, isn't it? Is that our old guy? Mikel Alexander Aquilson. It is the guy they bought off us for six and a half million pounds. Now worth 2.8. So, not the best investment. Uh, Gunnarsson into Berger. Berger out to Pickering on this right hand side. Now we're keeping our width. Pickering going on the overlap. What a run that is. He is a very attacking fullback, a wing back. Pickering in, crosses it. I do with a header, and it's 1 0. That's all, that is all Jordan Pickering. What a run. He literally picked the ball up, what, here, and ended up there and crossed it. Absolutely lovely stuff. Pickering on the overlap, just had too much pace for um, Sanchez, and it got round him rather easily. Aquilson tried to get across. Ida with a good header. And I think Ida's been a good little purchase, to be honest. I think he's doing well for us. And that puts us up to eighth, two points. Off Arsenal in seventh in the Europa spots, um, or the U is it still Europa League? I think it's actually the Europa Conference, isn't it called? As uh, Ludwig's had a nightmare. Beekman's uh, goes round him, crosses it in. A go goes there. Bernardo shoots. It's blocked, and Ludwig uh, gives it to Sigalani who clears. But yeah, see that's oh well, yeah, mm, we're not the thing with the three. At the, this is what annoys me, right? Is the thing with the three at the back. If I think if I could sign the exact players I want for it. Sigalani shoots, could save Kulabali. If I could sign the exact players I want for it, the team, we, how good was it in the lower divisions? Because we just absolutely dominated teams. Like, and I mean dominated them. We had possession, we had loads more shots, we created loads of chances. A part of me is like, we need to go back to that three at the back of formation and try and just stick with it. It's what has got us through the leagues. But, what I have noticed in oh shot just hitting the side netting in this save especially, and I think it happens in quite a lot of saves, is that you get loads of new generated players um, that all play in a similar position. It's normally attacking midfield is where you normally get the most uh, new generated players. What I found in this save is that they're all right wingers. All the best new generated players are right wingers in this save. Um, as Abel comes forward, ball across, it's headed away. Sanchez will get there. And lays it back to Cavalegio into Aquilson, who's playing out of position. And, oh, Abel nearly nicked the ball off him. Good header from Berger. Abel does get there, but can't make the most of it. Bernardo through to Firth, who's gone off the back of the defender. Should be scoring, to be honest. Firth should be doing a lot better. But, yeah, I think that um, it's... I don't know. The wingers just seem to be very over... Oh, Sigalani, that's a terrible touch. Sigalani, I think may be sold in the summer and he may be part of the reason we go back to a three at the back formation because I just can't find a good left winger. Aquison's shot is uh, blocked and cleared away as Abel comes away with it. Let's get creative. We are 1-0 up already so I don't need to have a go at them too much. But yeah, it's just um, Siglani's pretty dreadful. Abel's not playing very well but he is young. Um, he's listed as a wonder kid so I do want to keep hold of him and see how he gets on. Berger into Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson to Medina. We're working it well. We'll long ball up to Ida, which Ruiz wins. Sanchez into Rodrigo. Rodrigo put under pressure from Bunga. Ackleson back to Rodrigo. Back to Ackleson. Into Sanchez. Into Ackleson again. Newcastle keeping the ball well. Find Rodrigo on the left. Cuts it back to Sanchez in a bit of space. Shoots Gnarsson with a save. And that's what I mean. Like I feel like teams like Newcastle, we should be absolutely dominating them. And I don't. I might use this season as oh that's a great ball Sigalani's fouled get him off 
Get Firth off. It's got to be at least a yellow, to be honest. Did anyone even get a yellow for that? Ridiculous. Bernardo. Back to Ruiz. Over the top looking for a go-go. Pickering is there. Back to Gunnarsson. The, the three at the back, I think, is the best formation we've probably ever had in terms of low, like overall complete... Oh, that's a wonderful play from Sigalani. I know I'm saying he's been pretty rubbish recently, but that was good. Credit where it's due. Abel is the player struggling at the moment. I don't know. What do you, let me know in the comments. What do you think we should do tactics-wise? Um, obviously, I've bought wingers, but and we've got we've got strikers that can play in the three at the back because it would give us two strikers up front, which would be good. Um, and it would suit Osmani, the new wonder kid, because we're playing as a deep line forward on attack. Um, calmly, don't get complacent. Assertively, you can all still do it. Let's go Abel off. We will bring Joshua Thomas on. We'll put you to a winger on support. And we'll take off overlapping on the right, even though that's where our goal came from. Um, hopefully it will give us a little bit more stability. We do have a 1-0 lead. Perea uh, back to Medina. Into Ludwig. Ludwig back to Medina. Into Bunga. We're just going to keep the ball probably. There probably won't even be a goal highlight. Uh, or a highlight, I imagine, in this. Berger back to Gunnarsson. Into Medina. Back to Gunnarsson. See, I do like the way we keep the ball. And I do like the width offering we have as Pickering comes forward. He's got Thomas there. Pickering going on his own again. He's not meant to be overlapping. Ackleson has given away a penalty. Must be. Must be a penalty. It is a penalty. And uh, it's going to be Adam Ida trying to get his second of the game. Oh, lovely penalty to put it past Koulibaly. And it makes it 2-0. And Pickering, this is, again, it's the problem we've got. I think Pickering would be able to do this from right wing back as well. It's just, is it the best thing to do? We're 2-0 up, right? And I'm going to come playing going three at the back for the rest of this game. Just to see what happens. But, let's just stick with this. Sigal see, Sigalani drops too deep. He's an inside forward on attack. Vincent into Thomas. Thomas gets there. Oh, Vincent will pick up the loose ball. Bunga is there again into Thomas. Thomas turns his man. What's he going to do? Squares it. He's looking for Ida for the hat trick. I just need. Does Sigalani have come deep to get the ball? Moves channels. Gets forward whenever possible. Places shots. Beats off side trap. Lob keeper first. Cuts in from left wing. Nothing to say he should be dropping deep when he's playing as an attacking outlet. He should. I want him out of the way. That's what I want. Like. He should be cutting in, giving space for Ludwig to run up. I mean, I'm 2 0 up and I'm moaning, but. When. Teams don't use tactics as I think they should be. It really annoys me. Perea into Sigalani. Back to Vincent. Perea. Out to Pickering. Pickering's still getting forward and it's a cross shot, but not the best. And this, so this second half is obviously so much better. It has been so much better. And I'm just thinking, what have I got? Centre back, centre back, centre back. Thomas has come on, so he could go to... He could go up front with Ida. We could take... I'm just trying to see if it would fit for the last 25 minutes. So it would be... Thomas would go up... Well, he'd technically go there. Vincent... Bunga would come back here. And would actually... You'd be better off being the Libero on support. And then Sigilani to come off. Even though he has just grown into the game a bit. We could do Vincent, actually. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I think... Um, no, it's probably too much of a risk, actually, in it to, to do that. We're playing well. We're playing well. No need to no need to change it up too much yet. Be Beekmans into Williams. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe I just need to play every game uh, as and when they come. As they've squared that great block from Pickering there. He's having a great game. Uh, right back. Goes down the line looking for Ida. Ida picks it up and uh, has a bit of time and space. Gets past Ruiz, but a good tackle. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. The game right now is confusing me. and I, It's very rare that I get confused and indecisive about Football Manager. As uh, We'll take Vincent off to be replaced by Diallo. Uh, we can actually put you back as an advanced playmaker now because we've got winger on the support option, not on the attack. But, um, yeah, normally I have this clear mind. I know exactly what formation I want to go into with each season. 
I'll tell you what's making it complicated. Oh, Diallo! Oh, Koulibaly makes a save. What's making it complicated is how good the 3-5-2 was early on in this save. And I feel a very big... Like, um, what's the word I'm trying to use? Like, uh, affiliation to it. A very good, a, a very, it's, it's a part of me and part of this save. And oh, Ida could have had the hat trick. He's had a header at the back post, hit the post. But I mean, I mean, look at this. We're going to end this series. We're going to end this um, episode, sorry. Two points of European places in the Premier League, playing the same amount of games as Arsenal and Spurs. We're going to be winning Newcastle 2 0. We've got a two goal deficit in a semi final, a League Cup semi final, which we could more than we could, we could, if we play well, come back from. But we've got to really up our game. I really shouldn't be moaning so much. I'm not, I'm not moaning. I shouldn't be contemplating things so much. But I think we will go and I think there'll be a big rotation of formations now. And I think that's the way we've got to do it. But Adam Ida gets a brace. Uh, lovely. A lovely win away at Newcastle. Very happy with that. Getting one over Aquison as well, our former club. Uh, our former teammate. So, um, Ida on form as folks and score victory. Two goals for Adam Ida. Lovely stuff. Superb in front of goal. Um, Post-match, David Dunn can go and do that. And we it was six games unbeaten in the league. It's not, it's not all as dire as I'm making it out in my head. Right, we'll be back for... Oh, that is now going to be a very tough run of fixtures, that, because their teams around us and the semi-final. Chelsea and Arsenal, um, the double London games, what we'll come back with, with the end of the transfer window in there as well. So it'll be a longer episode next time. It'll be Chelsea in the second leg of the Cup semi-final, deadline day, and the game against Arsenal as well. So uh, a pretty much a bumper episode to look forward to. Hopefully... You're not all depressed because of my moaning. Hopefully you can give me some geeing up comments down below. That would be absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.